Hi, I'm Terry from Ben and Biscuits Boarding and Training Facility. This is Boss. He's very, very stubborn, just the breed. I know I've talked to you about that already, but uh, as, as being the owners, but he, he's done very, very well. And what I've done to try to, um, to help him is carry treats around. I normally don't do that, but after he does something correctly, I praise him by, by telling him that. Hey. And also, giving him a little treat. So when we return, we're going to come back to the heel on lead, the uh, sit stay, the down stay, and the recall. Okay, this is going to be Boss's heel on leash. Um, he's going to be trained on the right side, unlike a lot of them are trained on the left, but um, they wanted this one trained on the right, so that's what we're going to do. Um, as you take your first step, just tell him to heel, and he should walk along beside you. When you stop, he should stop. And right turn, left turn, he should be right with you. So let's see how he does. Ready, boss? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Exercise finished and praise your dog. Good boy. Okay, this is going to be. Um, Boss is down, stay. You're just going to turn face him if he's not already down. And you put your finger right to the ground and tell him down. I tell him once or twice. If he doesn't listen, just gently pull him down by the, by the leash where it's hooked to the collar, and he'll go right down. Okay, he likes to lay down. He, pre he would uh, prefer to, to lay down rather than sit. I don't know why. But um, So you put him in a down, tell him to stay, the palm of your hand in his face, no matter how far you are is, is the, the hand signal to stay. Okay, and you walk out to the end of your six foot leash. Now you at home, when you first start this out, you may only get, stay, this far away, one step. Do that for five seconds and come back and then praise him. But what I've been doing is going out to the end of the leash, trying to give him a few seconds and then coming back. Let's see how he does. Stay, 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 stay. Day. Exercise finished and praise your dog. Good okay, this is going to be boss's sit stay. Hand signal to sit is bring your hand up like this. He's not the best listening to sit. Like I said, he'd rather lay down than sit, but we're working on that. Tell him to sit, hand signal to stay, walk out to the end of your leash like your down stay, and then come back to him. He should do fine. Stay. 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 Good boy, stay, stay. Exercise finished, Oop. sit, stay. Exercise finished and praise your dog, good boy. Stay. Okay, dog sitting at your, your right side. Put the palm of your hand in his face, tell him to stay. Walk out to the end of your leash. At first, only do a step or two. Turn and face him. Hand signal to come is bring your hand to your chest and give him a treat. I've been carrying a treat, so that way I praise him by giving him a treat when he comes to me. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Okay, for a conclusion, um, I know we had uh, conversations prior to you bringing him here and, and when you came to visit him as to two things. The breed is extremely stubborn and he's not neutered. So he is learning much, much slower than the average that I have here. But the whole deal to that is, number one, I would get him neutered if it were my dog, but if you really are gonna breed him, then obviously you can't do that. So either way, I would use treats to continue this training at home, which you're gonna to need to do if you can do it every day. I do it twice here, once in the morning, once in the evening. If you can do it once or twice or three times at home, just 10 minutes, boom, boom, boom. I'm taking a lot longer than that now because I'm doing a lot of talking, but. I go through those four or five exercises and I'm done in 10 minutes. We go back in the kennel. I would use treats, be consistent, but be very, very strict. Don't let him get away with anything. And in time, he's already getting better and getting better. I couldn't get him to sit when he first got here. Now he sits, still has a hard time with it sometimes, but he does better. Um, we just reinforce the really good things by giving him a treat and praise and um, he'll get better and better. So uh, 
far as the off lead that I that I offer later on, I personally don't think he's a dog that is really cut out for off lead. But um, you never know. If you you know take him home for a few months and he starts doing really well, then obviously we can we can give it a whirl. But uh, thank you very much. Good boy.